It began as a massive cloud of magnetized gas hurled in our direction by the sun, known as a coronal mass ejection. That wasn't a huge deal. Solar storms can cause the Earth's atmosphere to expand and pull on low-flying satellites. However, all data indicated relatively minor effects. Power grids and satellites may experience minor outages, and sky watchers at high latitudes may see aurorae. However, it was evident that something was wrong soon after the Starlink satellites launched from Florida's Kennedy Space Center. When the satellites reached Earth's upper atmosphere, they encountered a far greater pull than predicted for the storm's severity. Nothing could be done in the end. Controllers watched as 40 satellites were drawn down and burned up in the atmosphere, demonstrating the sun's unpredictable power. Down here on Earth, we benefit from the sun's energy and light. We couldn't function without it. However, we are constantly bombarded by the solar wind, charged particles emitted by our stars. Most of the time, they only manifest themselves in the form of colorful aurorae. However, the sun occasionally throws out a lot more material, damaging satellites and infrastructure on Earth. These are usually preceded by a solar flare a day or two before they reach us. However, a new study reveals that certain storms may come with little or no warning at all. Thanks for watching.